Kia ora, welcome back. The snow and rain really making their presence felt in parts of Canterbury and top of the south today. Uh, Blenheim's Taylor River running very full. This was it today. Where is this? Is it normal? And if we look back on today, we can see these intense red blobs delivering that rain and snow to central parts of the country. But the good news is the system is just heading away, finally. So let's track this through tomorrow. And it's the most clear picture we've seen for some time now. So lots of frosty mornings in both islands. However, showers creep into the west of the South Island that becomes rain later with wind and rain watches from late evening. But te tai tokoro, top of the north, the day improves to a sunny afternoon. Those winds die out too, and 16 for all here. Tamaki Makoto, Auckland, take the brolly for the walk to work, but you'll see more sun come afternoon and 15 degrees. A frosty start, Kirikiriro, Hamilton, but the cloud to come and go, even the odd shower, and 15. A gorgeous day here, frosty mornings, many dipping to zero or below tonight. And a note, the Desert Road snowfall warning has been extended until 9 o'clock this evening. 13 degrees for many here. An absolute stunner, Tauranga. The winds do stick around until afternoon, though, and 15 degrees. More of the same in the east. Uh, Masterton dropping to minus 3, uh, but it is getting up to 13 degrees. And some cloud or showers to New Plymouth and Whanganui. Others looking good though, and 14 and 15 degrees for everyone here. <coughs> Te Whanganui Atara, Wellington, lots of sun finally. Northerly's picking up in the morning though, and 12 degrees. Tito Ihu, top of the south, it's the day you've been waiting for. Lots of sun, uh, just occasional showers to Westport, and 12 degrees. A cold night, Ototahi Christchurch dropping to minus four, so frosty, but then a fine day, and a high of 12. Now here are those showers rolling in, arriving afternoon in the, uh, in the west, while in the east it remains fine and 12 degrees. Tahuna, Queenstown, a fine morning, but a bit of cloud afternoon uh, and 10 for you. It starts off mostly OK here, but a cloud or shower too rolls in in the afternoon uh, and those rain and wind watches kicking in late Monday evening or the early hours of Tuesday. 12 degrees for many here. And Ōtipoti Dunedin, a good-looking day until evening cloud and strong winds have arrive and a high of 12. So Tuesday, Te Eka Amawi, the north, dodges the rain mostly. Severe gales in Wairarapa and Wellington though, while Te Waipunamu, the south, lots of rain. Heaviest in the west, southern lakes and Canterbury high country with those gale winds too. Wednesday, rain or showers for almost everyone. Uh, just Gisborne and Hawke's Bay stay fine. And finally, a reminder, with the clearer night tonight, you might just catch a glimpse of the meteor shower. <music> Brought to you by Foursquare. Tonight's good sort is Trudy Van Stee, based at Waihi Beach. Trudy used to work in a rest home and noticed how lonely people were, so she created a place where people could come for company. It's called a friend's place. Hayden Jones went for a look. As he needs a ride, so Trudy's there. Trudy, thank you so much for picking me up. They're off to a friend's place. It's at the local hall and they laugh all the way there. <laughs> it's Tuesday, which means games. She's been cheating anyway. Dear Trudy. Trudy Van Stee runs this also. Trudy, very perceptive, saw a need in the community and just got in and, and did it. My turn. Trudy is busy. What's a geep, John? Playing John at Scrabble. I think I'm partly winning. And Yen's also. Busy girl. <laughs> Everyone has found their spot at this weekly event. Useless! <laughs> Pauline and Beth have an unfortunate common interest. We're both very deaf. We talk By quite loud to each other. <laughs> yeah. So they always play together. You've got to laugh at yourself. That's the biggest thing. I don't play the board games. While Lois likes being amongst people. This is my department. She's been coming three years. Oh, my husband passed away and um, it's just filled a big gap. You get a buzz out of the whole thing. Trudy started a friend's place after working in a rest home in 
and seeing people isolated. I see a lot of loneliness, I see a lot of isolation, I see a lot of people without family. It's not just cards, for $5 a day they can take part in activities all throughout the week. Tuesday is a discussion group in the morning which is very political. Wednesday morning we have a craft group. Wednesday is music also, Thursday too, while Friday is pampering day. Trudy's also started a group that advocates for better housing and provides a meal service. One for Phoebe next door, if you could, please. Laurel gets dinner delivered for a koha. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Trudy Van Stee grew up short on family members. I never had grandparents, and I think there's something about that. She's got plenty now. Nothing beats it. Da -da -dee. Trudy loves singing. On Jupiter. And thinks a friend's place could expand. I think every small town needs one. She could be onto something. Hayden Jones, one. News. Good on you, Trudy. You can check out Good Sorts on our website. That's where you can catch up with all of our Good Sorts, nominate someone and see behind-the-scenes footage. Just go to onenews.co.nz slash goodsorts. That's One News this Sunday. From the team here, Kia Pai Tawiki, have a good week.